holy holy opened after we left Columbus and it was kind of one of those things where when we were in I think Tucson it was kind of like oh man this new tiki bar opened in Columbus and we're not there you know <laughs> drink menu here at Holy Holy. We definitely got a lot of uh, heavy hitters, the classics up here. We got the legends, you got things like the Mai Tai, the Blue Hawaii, the Zombie. You go down, you got um, some kind of more, looks like uh, original type of drinks. Pineapple Princess, which I love. This Passage to Pineapple Island. And then they even have a seasonal menu. But um, what I love is the art on this menu which I believe was designed by our fellow tiki file, Nick Elam here in Columbus, Ohio. And he did just a killer job. Look at how great this looks. This is awesome. Really, really cool. I would say a collector's item for sure if they would let us take it, which I don't think they're going to. <laughs> The Dumet started out with the classic 1944 Mai Tai. I had to do it. You know I had to do it. How is it? Mm, it's really good. I am happy with the garnish. There's tons of mint in it. Um, according to the menu, it's got all the right ingredients. Um, there's something maybe like maybe a little too much lime juice, maybe. But it's pretty good. And I'm very happy that they got lots and lots of mint in there. But I'm enjoying it for sure. Tropical Island. Tropical Island. Alright, what'd you get to drink, Trader Do? Well, put the pedal to the metal straight out the gates uh, with a zombie. Limit two per visit, as it should be, but um, it's definitely doing the trick. Definitely very boozy. It's got a lot of ingredients. It came out smoking, and it's even got something called a zombie syrup in it, which I'm not sure what it is, but um, definitely very delicious. <laughs> round of drinks has arrived. What'd you get, Trader Doom? The smoking eruption. Ooh. Oh my gosh. So, it's definitely got some passion fruit. Definitely got plenty of rum. Definitely got uh, a little bit, maybe, of like mango action going on. Ooh. 
Ooh, I love mango. It's good. It's good. <laughs> And Miss Dumet, what did you get next? Because I'm super excited about this one because our waitress told us that it was our special, so it wasn't even on the menu. And I believe it's called the Surfing Summer Sunset. And it's got a little blue flower on it. All right, let's see what we got going on here. I know she told me it had whiskey in it, but it also has two kinds of rum, or maybe two kinds of whiskey. Whatever, there's rum in it. <laughs> Okay, I remember she said that there was like some coconut cream. I think she said two different types of whiskey, a rum, some sort of like, oh, she was twilight syrup. It was like secret recipe kind of thing. Mm. It's really good. It's like painkiller adjacent. Really, really yummy. I love it. It's awesome. All right, so a lot of good stuff on the menu here at Huawei Huawei. Definitely seems like the biggest thing are kind of going to be like appetizers. Um, we're probably going to hit up some coconut shrimp maybe some of the wings and the pot stickers or something but lots of cool kind of like asian inspired bar food edamame um, bang bang broccoli and then they have a couple of sandwiches definitely like a hawaiian style sandwiches like a little pork and they got a loco moco burger so like definitely along that hawaiian theme and then they even have um, the hawaiian plate where you can choose your protein and it's like a traditional kind of like a luau hawaiian plate where you get the meat and the rice and the macaroni salad um, so we're excited to try it. They got a lot of good stuff. So uh, let's dive in. Tried all the food, Trader Doom. What are you thinking about the food? All right, had to go with some starters because I like to try a little bit of everything. Um, you know for a fact of life, I had to get some coconut shrimp and it is not disappointing. So damn good so far. Um, in the middle, the tiki fries, pulled pork fries, a little bit of the um, bang bang sauce, I think it's called. That was really good. And then over here, we got the chicken pot stickers. Classic Tiki Bar fan. All in all, I couldn't be more happy with the absolutely carb-filled, delicious meal in front of me. So I'm gonna give that a thumbs up. like told us all about kind of his career in Tiki and his path to kind of like what he's done here at Holy Holy and it sounds like he's really been able to um, add a lot of flair to it with his kind of passion and experience and it was really cool talking to him. Yeah, he really sat down and walked us through how he kind of showed up from a time of traveling around the country, kind of like what we're doing right now. Yeah. And he just kind of rolled in use his creative mind to kind of create this absolutely awesome atmosphere here and really use a lot of creativity to make it what he wanted it to be, make yeah. it his own thing. We also got to uh, get their souvenir glass, which it turns out that big toe design. So hell yeah, we're really excited about that. Got the Huli Huli Tiki mug. So we're having a great time. Yeah, 
uh, we are sitting outside their uh, outdoor patio area in this awesome egg chair. And uh, we just had a great time at Huli Huli in Powell in Columbus, Ohio. So um, we've been trying to get here for a couple years. They opened up in 2019. And every time we've kind of come home to Ohio to visit, it's been the holidays. Um, it's been extremely cold. It's been an ice storm, <laughs> we just, negative five degrees. Yeah, or we just haven't had the time to actually get out to Powell. So we're really excited now that we're in Ohio that we can make the trip up here to check it out. And it did not disappoint. So uh, Trader Doom, let's talk about Hooli Hooli Powell and whether or not we're gonna sip it or skip it. All right, so as you guys know, if you've been coming to these videos, you know our criteria. We like to judge a tiki place based on. So our first one is going to be, of course, drink drinks. quality. Because you can't have a good tiki bar if your drinks aren't good. And we enjoyed everything we had. And uh, everything, there was a really wide range of kind of classics along with um, unique bartender creations. There was even like a recipe that was a Kahiki Supper Club original, which was really cool. Yep, it was kind of rad to be yeah. like, okay, that's awesome that we're in Columbus and you get a little something from the legendary bar from this area. Which awesome. we unfortunately never got to actually go to. Never got to make it out and now it is a Walgreens. <laughs> But it's really cool to come to a place that has, you know, something to keep in, keeping the spirit of Kiki Supper Club alive. So overall, Trader Doom, we're uh, gonna give the drinks a... Sip it. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Hell yeah. Next, we're gonna talk about food. So when you're in a tiki bar, of course, you gotta have a little something or something to snack on, or else it's gonna be a disastrous night. And we've uh, had many of those. So let's talk about getting some calories in you. Yeah. Uh, the menu here, badass. Well, we, we of course chose from the kind of starter menu, but we got a lot of it. And we got the coconut shrimp, got the tiki fries with the pulled pork, and we got the chicken pot stickers. Um, mm. Basically, if, it, if you have food, we're probably gonna go ahead and give you a thumbs yeah. up but they did kind of bring it. They brought the Good thunder. Uh, most definitely on the Thai chili sauce for the coconut shrimp, which if you got coconut shrimp. Trader Doom's happy. <laughs> I'm a happy yeah, guy. They had a great selection of just kind of like bar type affair um, with like a really good Asian and or Hawaiian kind of spin on it. So. Uh, really good food. I'd say overall, we're gonna give the food a thumbs up. Thumbs up, yeah. And somehow we passed on a spam sandwich, but we had basically yeah. just crushed so much of the starters that we were like, ah, maybe next time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next category is atmosphere. So we're talking about the decor, the music, you know, what kind of glassware they're using. So um, the atmosphere is great here. Definitely maybe not as like, over the top as some tiki bars definitely not necessarily floor to ceiling but they had at what they do have um has a lot of character they got these this cool setup behind the bar with um this very cool old school like molded um like volcano they have a couple of things actually from the kahiki supper club which was really cool to actually hear about from um the general manager rick he sat down and talked to us all about um the couple of pieces that they've acquired from kahiki um and just how when he's come in he's been able to really kind of overhaul the decor and um you definitely see a lot of evidence of just things with a lot of heart local artists things like that including our buddy nick elam fellow tiki file he's actually a bartender here uh, who did the menu and uh, there's also a really cool tiki, tiki carving in the front that he did which is really awesome dude absolutely and it, uh, rick even told us about when halloween rolls around which is very soon <laughs> so maybe there'll be a part two of this uh, but they will be actually crafting Halloween decorations that go right on top of what they've already got going. Uh, and of course we had to get a mug from here because they did in fact have their very own mug which Rick told us was a long, long fight that he went through in order to get it and it really paid off because check it out. 
Big Toe designed it. It's awesome. What we love and what Rick was saying that he loved about it is that it's more of like a boat shape where so many of the tiki mugs that you get are tall and stacked and this kind of helps to add a little dimension to your tiki shelf um, if you're a collector like us. Yeah, they play great tiki music. Maybe you can hear it in the background, but they're doing the tiki tunes. Little Exotica in the little background. Exotica. So, um, yeah, I think overall, what are we saying about the atmosphere here at Hooli, Hooli Trader Doom? Gotta give it a thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up, amazing. That's amazing. All right, with the staff, definitely friendliness all around. As soon as we walked in the door from until we left, it was definitely all smiles. Great people with a lot of uh, charisma. The fact that the GM sat down with us, Rick, and just got to talk to you with us, that was so cool. The fact that he knew we had questions and he took the time to kind of you know, chat with us about all those things we were interested in. Our waitress was amazing. She was so kind, checked on us all the time. Uh, you know, was really cognizant of the fact that we were taking videos. <laughs> so yeah. another bartender that made uh, maybe all of our drinks, but he delivered us some of the drinks. Turned out he was actually from Cincinnati, so he came over and talked to us too. Just like really friendly, good vibes all around. So we had a, we had a great time. I would say the staff would also be a huge thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, and definitely a special thank you to Rick mm -hmm. for sitting down with us because he really showed us the passion that you can have for taking something that's an awesome idea, putting your own just absolute passion into it and making it its own thing. It's definitely, he's definitely got a vision for it and I'm excited yeah, to see you can tell. where it's it goes. Like, I'm gonna yeah. do this. Yes, and I got all these ideas and it was really cool yeah. to hear him talk about those and kind of chat with him. All right, last but not least, our overall experience being the final category. For me, I had a great time. I'm so glad that we just kind of came in with sort of a blank slate and no expectations because we had a really good time um, and it was a really fun experience. So for me, thumbs up. What about you? Yeah, absolutely. It was. It's definitely awesome to be in essentially woodsy ohio yeah kind of suburban ohio yeah it was weird driving out here it does yeah. feel like you're in the middle of nowhere and then suddenly you're in downtown powell which if you're familiar with the area you know but it is like you're driving through the woods and then all of a sudden yeah this is not town. downtown yeah. la this is not downtown chicago this is kind of rural ohio mm -hmm. and when we rolled in and we're greeted with exotica tiki's and amazing drinks we were like oh okay all right this is awesome so honestly, got to give it a thumbs up because they know how to transport you and they know how to do it with style. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so let's tally it up. So I'm pretty sure that was a thumbs up all around. We got drinks, we got food, we got atmosphere, <laughs> we got staff, and, and finally overall, overall experience. experience. So that's five out of five. Trader Doom, when it comes to Hooli Hooli Tiki Lounge in Powell, Ohio. Are we going to sip it or skip it? I'm going to sip it. <laughs> yeah, we're for sure going to sip it. Yeah. If you're ever hooli, in... Hooli. If you're not from Ohio, I can't think of necessarily a reason why you might find yourself in Powell, but if you ever do find yourself you're in Powell... Through. Yeah. This will definitely get your tiki fix, so um, definitely stop by if you have the chance. Thank you so much for joining us again after a long hiatus of moving all over the place and going to Costa Rica and doing all this crazy shit. Here we are with another Sip It or Skip It. So thank you all for joining us. We can't wait to see you next time. And a quick note now that we are moved in, getting settled in, our Etsy shop is back open. That's right. So make sure to check it out. We've got, we've got Mai Tai glasses designed by Black Lagoon Room up in Milwaukee. We have got prints. We got badass original art. We've got badass hair flowers. Hair and flowers and earrings that I've designed and made. Amazing, amazing <laughs> work. Plenty of awesome stuff over in the Etsy store. So go check, it, check out. it out. Link is down in the description. Subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. See you, See you next time. time.